Hello and welcome to my channel again and this will be my fourth laboratory exercise with my subject data communication and networking tool. So this is the network topology that I'm gonna use. So it's gonna be configuring the 802.1Q trunk based inter VLAN routing. So it's all about the inter VLAN routing. Okay, so this is the table address that I'm gonna do and uh, this is my Cisco packet tracer so I'm gonna use uh, one router and two switch and two end devices so first I'm gonna use the router So I'm gonna use this router 1941. So 1941. Okay, and then Cisco switch will be which is what that is one nine uh two nine six zero. Okay. Two nine six zero. The switch two nine six zero. So this one here here and then the end devices will be two pc okay so it will be pc a eh, pc a and pc b then Okay, based on this, I'm gonna use the so straight through from Giga this one and two it's internet zero five. Okay, and then this one as internet one here and then I'll be using S5 S5 So this one is for the student VLAN 10 fast internet 6 faculty will be 18 So, part one build the configuration devices that to cable and topology. <coughs> okay, so now I'm gonna configure the basic configuration for switches. So, for this one, one minute. basic settings first is configure terminal okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is write it to a notepad so I can easily configure all the router so first is configure configure terminal 
Okay, next is service password encryption. Next is host name S1. Okay, so I'm gonna use this first in uh, switch one. So host name is S1. Hold on a minute. Next is <clears throat> no IP domain lookup. Next is enable secret class. Okay. Next is banner M O T D N and then I'm gonna copy and paste this part. Okay, and then let me I'm going to line console line console zero password is Cisco logged in to enable the password then exit next is for uh, line VTY or telnet line VTY zero or password is Cisco logging synchronous login exit next is mm -hmm. service password encryption I think I already configured that. Mm -hmm. Service password encryption. So it's already configured here. Service password encryption. Okay, next is exit again. Then exit. Then copy then start so okay so that is the basic configuration for this i'm gonna copy and then paste it here and say like command so i can easily configure everything oops Maybe. Hold on a minute. Okay. Hold on a I forgot to go to neighbor. There is no enable. Should be neighbor. Neighbor. This may takes a while. So okay. Okay, so now it's finished. I'll just gonna enable configure terminal terminal okay so configure terminal I'm gonna skip that part and copy this command okay so okay mm -hmm. synchronous 
and get the wires. Oh, video terminal. VDY 0 to 4 it says invalid password Cisco and then that's the Cisco then plugging in synchronous of oh, misspelling this part I'm going to copy and place it here. So this then exit. Exit then copy. Copy and start. Okay, so that is the basic command for switch 1 or S1. Next is for switch 2. So I'm just gonna change the switch 2 name for the host name. Okay, and I'm gonna copy this part. So I will do this and CLI and then TN configure terminal and do the same copy and paste so that's it okay so that is how i configure the basic command for the switch and then switch to and the next thing is I'm gonna go to the part two configuring switch with VLAN and trunking. So in switch one, okay. So I'm gonna go to the configuration part. Okay, from switch one, <coughs> configure terminal, and then VLAN ten name is students next is vlan 20 name faculty then exit wait i'm gonna show vlan Okay, so student and faculty. Next is okay. I'm gonna go back to configure terminal, then interface fast internet zero forward slash one, and then switch port mode that is trunk. Okay, no shutdown. shut down then exit go to interface fast internet 0 forward slash 5 then switch port mode trunk no shut down exit next is to the interface numbers F06 that is interface fast internet 0 forward slash 6 switch port mode is access okay so that is an access port this is for the PC this one okay next is no shutdown exit Okay, next is for the VLAN one, this one. So that is VLAN only, VLAN one. Ok, 
okay configure IP address oh no 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 I think is you cannot configure that on the VLAN itself you need to go to interface VLAN 1 there you can configure the IP address same the way you configure the IP address on a normal uh, internet port or normal interface so that is so 192.168.1.1 that one that eleven and then subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 okay so no shutdown and exit Yes. Go back here and then write mem. Okay. For switch to. So I'm gonna go to switch number two. So that is configure terminal. VLAN 10 name is student then VLAN VLAN 20 name is faculty then Faculty. Next, I'm gonna go to interface fast internet zero forward slash one switch port mode trunk no shutdown exit. Next is the interface eighteen interface fast internet zero forward slash one eight switch port mode is access switch port mode is access then switch port access villain twenty no shutdown and then exit <clears throat> then I'm gonna configure the VLAN 1 for switch number 2 interface VLAN 1 IP address is 192.168.1.12.255.255.255.0 next is no shutdown and then exit okay so I'm gonna configure now the router the R1 or router number one and I'm gonna configure the sub interfaces this is for the sub interfaces of the router so I'm gonna click here and then this is the router okay so router okay let's configure this so i'm gonna configure the basic command for the router or basic configuration so i will just gonna change the host name to r1 and then i'm gonna copy and paste this i'm gonna go to enable configure terminal then copy and paste the command okay okay then I'm going to configure the sub interfaces so configure terminal 
and then I'm going to interface gigabit internet cable 0 forward slash 1.1 1 .1. okay next is encapsulation first so that router will understand that this is a sub interface and before we can configure the IP address need to encapsulate this first okay next is IP address the sub interface 192.168.1.1 and subnet mask 55.255.255.0 or forward slash 24 next is I'm going to exit then go to interface gigabit internet 0 forward slash 1.10 so encapsulation dot q then villain number that is villain number 10 ip address 192.168.100.1 then 255.255.255.0 exit then go into interface gigabit internet zero forward slash one dot twenty then encapsulation encapsulation is dot one q villain number twenty then the IP address one ninety two dot one six eight dot two hundred and one then 255.255.255.0 okay and then exit then i'm gonna go to the main interface that is gigabit internet zero that's one so this must not have any subnet or any ip address and it must be no shutdown okay so the sub interface change its status to its up up after i uh, turn on the parent interface or the main the gigabit internet zero forward slash one so next thing i'm gonna do is to configure the hold on i'm going back to here the table so i will also configure the look back interface interface look back zero this is one look back zero okay IP address is 209.165.200.255.225. Next is 25i subnet mask 255.255.255.224. Okay. Now shut down. Exit. Okay, next is I need to configure this one PCA so for PCA I'm gonna click this and configure the PCA we got PCA figure Fast Internet Interface 192.168.100.3 Okay, and then Subnet Mask automatically configure and Automatically 
default gateway is one default gateway is 192.168.101 okay this for PC1 and then I'm gonna go to PCB that is IP addresses okay, PCB this one configure default gateway is 192.168.200.101 next is this one address configure zero and then the IP address is 192.168.200.3 okay okay next is gonna configure the default gateway of VLAN 1 for S1 and S2 so to do that I'm gonna go here this is class configure terminal then IP default gateway is 192.168.200.3 default gateway okay that is for switch one next is for the switch number two okay I'm going to I'm already in configure terminal so IP default gateway 192.168.1.1 Exit. I'm gonna show I get out show interfaces Let's see. show interfaces Up, 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 and then there's no other villain. Up, up, and then show villain. Next is show um, pig. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm going to PC number letter A and then we will command home as I am going to pin Is it possible to pin the default gateway for VLAN 10? Okay, so Gateway is hold the command. Try to ping the one ninety two one six eight that one that one. Even one is down. It's brief. Down, down. Mm -hmm. So. It's still down from this part. Down the interface. You can get the internet safe forward slash one. Then you will shut down. I think I was mistaken. I'm not this part. I'm gonna try once again. So let's pin the default gateway. Okay, so I really forgot to configure this part. 
so I forgot to assign the interface to this VLANs so now I can pin the network okay so let me go back here and then I'm going to PCA and try to pin the the default gateway okay so that I'm gonna pin the default gateway that is pin 192.168.1.1 okay so as you can see there is a pin now in connection so next I'm gonna pin the uh, PCB so this is PCB and his IP address is 192 192.168.200.3 okay let's see if I can pin him okay so now as you can see there is a pin gonna pin again well, for now we can pin him okay next is I'm gonna pin the loop back of the router which is this one the pin the loop back address of the so this is the IP address or I'm gonna and then show IP interface brief okay so the look back address of this router is or look back zero IP address is this one so from PCA I'm gonna try to pin 209 that 65 that 200 the 225 so they have connectivity and I can pin this look back from the router from my PC to switch then to router and to its look back address and then let me pin the switch number two or the VLAN one of switch two that is uh, VLAN number two. Put this one. Okay, so from PCA, I'm gonna pin switch two. Okay, pin the VLAN number one one ninety two that one six eight that one that twelve. Okay, so switch two. Okay, so you can see there. I can pin all all of the router and switch and the other end devices so that's that's pretty much it and I also checked the default gateway that I configure maybe I mistyped it before so now it's all okay we have we have a uh, connectivity between this network so that's it so thank you